This is Alex and Simon. They are planning a large construction project for a major client and they're struggling to find worker accommodation. Let's catch up with their journey so far. What do you think, Alex? Setting up a village here might work. It's getting the construction crew in the island is a challenge, though. And on top of that, the client is unlikely to want to wait until spring. Uh, Let's go warm up. Just so remote here. Accommodating 500 staff for 18 months. It's going to be challenging. What Alex and Simon don't realise is that there is another way. With Bibby Maritime's fleet of shoreside floating accommodation, setting up a land camp is a thing of the past. If your project is located near a shoreline, then our accommodation units can simply float up alongside your berth and you can be up and running within days, not months. Two beers, please. I think we can get a worker camp built in a few months if we can get the construction crew here over the spring. It's going to take up a lot of space, though, and we're already stretched as it is. Maybe we can look at other locations on the mainland, but then we'll have to ferry people across every day. If we can get some space on the site to build a village, we have to be 100% sure that the site is in the correct location because there will be no moving it once the village is set up. Yeah, that would be costly. Unlike land camps, our vessels are temporary in nature and can stay on site for as little or as long as you need. Not only can we set up very quickly, we leave no waste. There is minimal site preparation, and our vessels can be moved if required. We take flexibility to a whole new level. This is advantageous to the local environment. Fact, our floating accommodation is up to 27% more environmentally friendly than land-based worker accommodation. The other great advantage of being shoreside is that we can locate our units closer to your operation than a land camp. In short, this can save thousands of man-hours of lost travel time. If we put the land camp east of the site, can we offer our workers comfortable accommodation? And what about communal huts for leisure activities? I'm not sure if it's viable. Most of the site is already earmarked for production by the client. We're going to have to offer something special to recruit the best workers and keep up morale. We're in competition with the projects on the East Coast, so decent living conditions are vital. Our floating accommodation is basically a hotel on water. This brings a number of advantages. Because the accommodation feels more like a hotel, rather than a temporary structure spread over a large area, it has a better sense of community, with a more luxurious feel. All our rooms have large windows with natural light, and the onboard gyms, bars, restaurants, leisure spaces all add to a great employee attitude and productivity. I don't know, Alex. Getting this project set up is getting more and more complex. We've got to think about environmental issues, quality of accommodation, speed to market, costs, and all this before we've even started construction. What we need to be able to do is wave a magic wand and drop a hotel next door to the site. If Alex and Simon only knew. Bibby Maritime don't have a magic wand, but they do have a fleet of floating accommodation vessels throughout the world. Our group have been in the maritime industry for over 200 years and turn over more than a billion dollars per year. And that is why clients like BP and Chevron trust us to look after their accommodation needs. We even have the expertise to build custom solutions if required. Don't be lost like Alex and Simon. Get in contact today for further information. Or why not have a look around our virtual tours and see our accommodation for yourself? We look forward to seeing you on board soon. Yeah, probably.